All right, as you guys know, I have a daily driver beater. And I've mentioned before, door dings, no problem. Scratches, bring it on. Love taps, any day, you guys. But man, I woke up this morning, came out, hopped in the car. Well, I was about to hop in the car, and man, this is a whole new level, you guys. Check this out. Like, what is this? I come out and there was like parts laying on the ground. Of course, I didn't record it until I got to the shop because the camera was at the shop. But like, look at this, you guys. And of course, it's on the good side too. The side that I fixed the headlamp. Oh my God, look at this. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna, uh, he's gonna pound it out. Try to fix this up here. Should be good. Should be good to go, you guys. just like new all right guys so on a serious note you guys thank god it's my daily driver and my beater because man if it was like like the gtr or my rav4 or my tesla i'd be literally like crying right now you guys like this vlog wouldn't be happening right now it'd be like right out of the mood but but on a serious note i do love my daily because my daily gets me from point a to point b it doesn't cost me any money it actually makes me money because it gets me to work so I do have to take care of it, you guys. And I do, yeah, I do care. It does hurt a little bit, but not as much. Yeah, but let's get this, let's get this vlog started, you guys. It was a late night, you guys. The wheels are all nice and clean. The only thing I have to do now is put some tire dressing on it because the stuff that I coated last year is kind of worn out. You can kind of see a reminiscence of it. But yeah, it's it's super clean, even the look at that, even inside, inside the barrel, you guys. And look at the brakes, all nice and steam. Look at all those goodies, you guys. All the control arms, traction arms, of course, stock. But yeah, all nice and clean. Now the wheels are gonna go back on, same as the front, and then dust off the engine bay and we'll get the show started i decided to go with no bumper this year guys i'm gonna go the bold look and i know it's a car show but you know what i'm gonna show off what i got i'm gonna show off my assets you guys so everything's all back together nice and clean also me and a buddy of mine good old victor sosa came through and i managed to get the sensor off and worked like a charm you guys it's all gone no more check engine light uh the only quick note we had to uh use an o2 sensor because the regular 7 8 socket wouldn't clear this uh this little nudge here or whatever this little whatever it is and you can see where it's all beat up the stickers from the socket so use an o2 sensor guys and we're good to go You guys, so the GTR is safely parked at the show and it's all ready to go, nice and clean. I just had to head back to the shop and do some work. Um, yeah, I had to finish some work that was, I guess, quite important. Um, yes, you guys, I do work a regular job. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I do have to pay for my own car parts. Maybe I get a discount, but not that. It's not free, you guys. So just waiting for uh, Marcos to show. Um, he apparently stuck on the north end on the way here with his uh, FD and uh, yeah it's stuck on a I, I don't know a train's just going by right now and he's stuck he's yeah, he's freaking out because I uh, guess we have to be in there by 12 and it's it's pretty close it's like 1144 or something right now so hopefully he gets here soon and uh, we'll head over to the show Thank <laughs> you. 
This is what they call fashionably late. Yeah, all right, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, just the train. Oh, man, I'm telling you, I was there, you're sitting for like 30 minutes. So, yeah, I know. Tell me about it. All right, let's go. Marco's car to Calgary I was wondering why he didn't turn the heat on because I knew he didn't have AC right and I was kind of a little I was, I was a little on the cold side and I was wondering why this guy is like not turning on the heat and of course he's Mexican too and I'm like if I'm cold I'm like why the hell is this guy not cold he's not he doesn't have a heater in this car this car has no heat crazy eh <laughs> That's what it is, it's a race car line. <laughs> Make the GTR sound like it's like stock. Nothing. Yeah, dude. I thought your car was loud. Yeah. This thing is not. You like that? Yeah. And there's Mr. Driven himself, like always. <laughs> so for this vlog, you know, I guess car show vlogs are kind of, I think it's kind of boring. So I'm just going to randomly pick cars that stands out and I'm going to share with you guys. I just don't want to go through the whole show and just it's yeah I just it can become really really repetitive and really boring so let's start off with the first one this is my first pick this van is like a VIP style and it's pretty pretty decked out you got the uh, high society VIP look at this this is like absolutely crazy bonkers you guys When I see this van, it, it brings back just like memories from when I was in, um, when I visited Hong Kong for the first time. And we uh, obviously we got a taxi and taxis are pretty much like this and it's all decked out. And it's just good experience and brings back good memories, you guys. Absolutely nice build. All right, next up you guys is this nice SCI hatchback. It's, uh, it's pretty sweet looking. I did consider getting one of these, you guys. I did want to like do a custom build, throwing like an RB inside of it, but apparently I looked it up and an RB is like, you have to cut the firewall and everything. I was like, that's way over my head. We don't have people able to do that custom build like that or like have the experience. So that was, I scrapped the idea. All right guys, here's a very super clean MK4 Supra. The buddy of mine. This guy put a lot of love in this, guys. You guys recognize the uh, MK5 Supra new wheels, Brembo brakes, super super clean all the way around you guys. This is another car that I'd love to get you guys. Left hand drive, super turbo. Like, uh, it's just so hard to get right now and if, when you can find one, it's like a hundred grand Canadian already, roughly. You can get built ones that are like uh, right-hand drive from Japan, 
fully built, but they're roughly about 80 to 90, 100 uh, Canadian dollars. But you get a really, really nice clean one, left hand drive, 100K easily. Rico's car, you see the difference, you guys, what we did or what he did. He had a new uh, front lip. We ended up rolling the fenders and now we don't have that problem no more so he can clear a lot of the uh, speed bumps or curbs with no issues nicely done so we got his uh, headlamps redone and amazingly they're really bright at night you guys at first i thought i were all oh, man driving home from calgary i thought it was going to be like super dark but yeah with these uh, new leds that he has super super nice i'll put the link in the description below you guys if you want to check these out or if you have an fd that you want one of these sets lorenzo's car super clean work in progress still working on his build but it's coming along quite nicely super super clean i would have to say you guys i like the uh the look that he's going for nothing outrageous nothing wild and then you got the opposite my buddy evil xj here jay's car is super wild yeah. And of course, Base High Blue R34, you guys. And of course, the Supra. And the FD getting some love with the models. Hey man. What's you, up? Did your wife know? No. <laughs> Good job, man. Imagine the lighting, right? The yeah, lighting. yeah, the lighting. Is that my angle? Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, guys. So Marcos finally popped his hood, and that carbon is just absolutely gorgeous, you guys. So we will be doing a review on this car for sure, you guys. I know you guys are probably thinking. I've seen a Nismo on paper and on pictures, but you know what? In person, this thing is absolutely gorgeous and it's so underrated. Like this thing, we we're gonna do a review for sure, you guys. Stay tuned. So I didn't win. I took off the bumper, did everything, cleaned the car, cleaned the wheels, cleaned the suspension, engine bay and everything, and didn't win. Was that all worth it? 100% sure. I tell you guys, so going back to the previous vlog, one of the comments says, to my question, is all this worth it? I was complaining about or made comments about not winning at the car shows and every day we said do it for yourself no awards needed 100 percent true you guys i thought that is so true you know when you build your car you build for yourself you don't need an award to tell you that you did a fantastic job whatever you do if it makes you happy it makes you happy if you know if you want to build a green car build a green car if you want to build a pink car do a pink car just whatever makes you happy should be the end goal and if you want to do a camber camber gang you want a low to the ground you want to bag it you want a static you want to you know do it the way you want if you want to put a big ass turbo put a big ass turbo if it makes you happy it makes you happy you guys and i think i missed the point like truly I'm absolutely in love with my car. I put so much time in it and he, he is right. I don't need an award to tell me to make that satisfaction. It just looking at it every day, 
is the satisfaction you guys and then spending that time with my friends at that car show is more than enough it's more more rewarding than anything at this car show i, I kind of wanted to show a little more but it just the lighting just sucked it just i think the venue was okay but the lighting was just put me right out of the mood you guys uh, for example like on a sunny day you get super energetic you want to do things you want to just yeah just something about the lighting just the atmosphere was just not there and it just i couldn't vlog it just music just pounding everywhere and it just you can see in some of the clips there how it just pretty much almost screaming it just it, it sucked so that's why we're doing this right now so another comment that kind of I connected with one of my friends from long ago and he came up and he's like, you know Flynn, the shows were okay and he said, and it just stood out in my mind, like, we got it all wrong. I'm like, why? Because these are absolutely beautiful cars that we're paying to go into a car show. And for him as a, a viewer to come into the show, he had to pay to come in the show and without the cars there would be no car show. So he's saying, why is it like that? Isn't that wrong? Isn't it totally wrong? I'm like, you know what? I thought about it. He is right. Without our cars, there would be no car show. Why are we paying to get in to go look at these cars when you just go see these cars on a regular basis, right? And I thought, about it. He, is, he is right. But you know what? Without this car show, the reason why a lot of us go in there is to actually connect with friends or people that we see on social media, for example. We see them on social media all the time, but we actually don't get to see them in person. And it's a way of one time out of the year, maybe two, depends on the area you, you go or you live in. Um, it's a way to connect with these people that you don't connect on a regular basis. It was absolutely fun seeing talking to people that I haven't seen in like ages and seeing their cars and what they've done to it and what have they've done and just sitting and chit chat and it was a good what 12 to seven so seven hours that literally standing next to the car wandering around looking and just connecting with people it just enjoy it's enjoyable and it is well worth it and I think that's what it is about a car show that keeps on bringing us back and that's the reason why we pay to go into the show i know it's kind of weird but i don't know what do you guys think leave a comment below do you think it's that's why you guys go to the car show and i think because i do complain some of my friends are complaining because they're oh, i'm getting tired and this and that and so true but why do we keep on coming back every year Think about it. Why do we keep on coming back? And why do we pay? Why do we travel so far? Just put our car into the car shows. And for what? For me, that's really what it is. It's connecting with people. And it's, it's I had a blast. And uh, hanging out with the boys. And for girls, hanging out with the girls. And it just, yeah, seeing new ideas and stuff out there is awesome, you guys. So I want to end off the vlog, you guys. Think about it. Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think. And hope you guys enjoy the vlogs and we'll see you guys next week. See ya.